Good morning, Year 5. Welcome to your first RCT lesson of Term 4. Today, we are going to be learning how to access and navigate web pages. Okay? So first things first, I've got a couple of videos for you to watch. The first one uh, looks like this. And what you need to do to find this video is you need to type in, what is the internet? BBC Bite Size into Google. You then click on this link, and then it will take you to this video here. So watch that for me now, please. Okay, so now that you've watched that, you're going to go onto YouTube and you're going to type in what is the internet? Okay, and that is a code.org video. It looks like this. Three minutes, 45 seconds long. So if you could please watch that for me now, that would be brilliant. Thank you so much. Okay, so now that you've watched those two videos, you should have a pretty good idea about uh, the things that the uh, internet is made up from and what we use it for. So what kind of things do we use the internet for? Okay, there's a few examples on the board here to sort of give you a bit of a clue. I wonder if you can just have a little think. What, what do we use the internet for? Maybe write down a little note somewhere. Write down what we use the internet for. Do that now. Okay, I'm sure you've got loads and loads of things that you've written down for what we use the internet for. Uh, one of the things we use it for is doing shopping from home. Now that obviously happens a lot more at the moment because Less and less people are going outside because of the pandemic. We use it for playing games with our friends who are far away. So that might be just on the internet. That might be on Xbox or PS1 if you're doing it online. We use it to watch and share videos, whether that is lessons like this one here, or just funny little videos on YouTube, or just anything on YouTube, really. But recently, we've all been using the internet for something very, very specific. That's actually how you found this video. So I wonder if anybody wrote down Class Dojo. So Class Dojo is on the internet. That's how I communicate with you guys during lockdown. Now, remember, when you're using websites and some apps, you are using the internet. Okay? So the internet is a huge network of computers that are connected to each other all around the world. Many people think that the internet and the World Wide Web are the, very sa are the same thing. While they're very closely linked, they're actually incredibly different. They're not the same thing. Okay? So, what you're going to do now is you're going to type in what is the World Wide Web onto BBC Bite Size, or into Google, sorry. And it will come up with this page here. So, click that page, and then scroll down to find this video here. Okay? So, your third video is this one here. So, type this into Google. Click on this page, and then you will find this video. So watch that for me now, please. Okay, so now that we've done that, you should be able to answer these questions here. So when was it created? When was the internet created? And what do website addresses start with? Okay, so let's have a little look. Hopefully you know the answers. When was it created by Sir Tim Berners-Lee? 1989. So the internet's older than I am. And what, website, uh, what do website addresses start with? They start with www. Now I wonder, do any of you know what www stands for? If you do, can you please write it down here for me on your worksheet? Okay. Okay. So, on those videos, you should have learned about web pages. Now, a web page is a single digital document. Okay, It's stored on a web server, connected to the internet, and can be viewed on a web browser. It forms a small part of the World Wide Web. A website is a collection of connected web pages, and each web page has its own unique web address. Okay, So a web page is a single page of information. A website is a collection of web pages. It's like an entire book. Okay. So, a uniform resource locator, or a URL, is the address of a web page. It's made up of a number of different parts. So, you've got the URL, you've got the title, the text contents, the banner at the top, the navigation, so that's where you'd find your menu, loads of images. Now, the website address, or the URL, is typed into the address bar on the internet. Okay. Now, not every website has to be accessed through Google or another search engine. If you already know the address of that website, you can just go up to the very, very top of your uh, search bar and type in the, uh, the website directly. So, I've done a little screenshot of a web page there, a website, sorry. 
does the uh, does the address have www dot in it? Yes, it does. Just there. Okay. Can you see the address bar that has been? Uh, can you see the address bar that has been typed into to get into the? Sorry. Can you see the address bar that it has been typed into to get direct access to the website? So, where is the address bar here? Is, it, is this it? Over here? This is the address bar. So, this is where you would type in the address to find your website. Okay. So, next. Okay. Different website now. Okay. Does it have www dot in it? Of course it does. Where is the address bar? It's in exactly the same place as it was before. It's still up here. And same again. So, on your worksheet, I would like you to write down the address of this website. Now, where can you find the address for this website? In the address bar at the very top. Well done. So, write the address for this website into your worksheet now. Thank you very much. Okay. So, next, a hyperlink. Now, hyperlinks are so useful. A hyperlink is a link uh, that takes you to another part of the website. Hyperlinks are what connects pages and other resources all over the web to each other. They are what makes the web what it is. When you click on something on a website, it takes you to another web page. Uh, another web page. You've clicked on a hyperlink. So on this picture here of YouTube, there are loads and loads and loads of hyperlinks. So remember, hyperlink is something that if I click on, it will take me to another page, a different part of the website. So... I wonder, can you find any hyperlinks on this page? If I was to click on something on this page, what could I click on to take me somewhere else? Let's have a little look. I think I could probably tick up, click on this, 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 this. That, that, this, that, this, that, this. So all of those things on there that I've just put lines through, those are all hyperlinks. They will all take me to a new page. They'll take me from one web page to another. Okay, so why are they useful? Have a little think. Why do you think web, uh, hyperlinks might be useful? So a hyperlink is a word, a phrase, or an icon that, can sh uh, that you can click on to jump to an different document or website. You don't have to retype in the address bar. It's just one simple thing that you click on to take you somewhere else. So, your main task. I'd like you to write some of the advantages and disadvantages of the internet. Now you've got that on your um, on your page here. Okay. I would like you to write down some of these uh, oh, sorry, some of them, all of them, <laughs> into this table over here. So, for example, you could be the victim of cyberbullying. Now, if you're a victim of cyberbullying, is that a good thing or is it a bad thing? So I would definitely put that up into here. I'll give you, I'll give you that one as a, a little clue, a little bonus. Okay, so being a victim of cyberbullying is a disadvantage of the Internet. It's not good. Okay, so fill in that table. Make sure you fill in the rest of the sheet. You are going to have to... Go onto these websites up here and click on the various different hyperlinks to navigate around and to find the answers to these questions. It shouldn't take you too long. Okay. Good luck, guys. Hope you do really, really well. And I'll see you for the next lesson. See you later. Bye.